Today I will discuss about accommodative in facility. In accommodative in facility, patient can't facilitate accommodation demand for different accommodative stimulation. Patient experiences difficulty changing the accommodative response level, like changing accommodation from near to distance or changing accommodation from distance to near. Eyes can't produce required amount of accommodative demand to an accommodative stimulus. Generally, from near to far, we need 0.56 second to response to an accommodative stimulus. From distance to near, we need 0.64 second to response to an accommodative stimulus. But in accommodation in facility, it requires more time to response to accommodative stimulus than required. In accommodation in facility, amplitude of accommodation is normal, but patient's ability to use required amount of accommodation quickly and for long periods of time is inadequate. So, as an optometrist, if you check only amplitude of accommodation, you may miss the diagnosis of accommodation in facility. The tests that can specifically diagnose accommodative in facility are negative relative accommodation, positive relative accommodation, monocular accommodative facility, and binocular accommodative facility. Now let's see what are the symptoms of accommodative in facility. Most symptoms are associated with reading or other close work. Common complaints are difficulty changing focus from one distance to another, blurred vision, headache, eye strain. Difficulty in sustaining and attending to reading or other close work. Fatigue. The most characteristic symptom of accommodative infacility is difficulty changing focus from one distance to another. Sign of accommodative infacility. Amplitude and near point of accommodation. Amplitude of accommodation will be normal and near point of accommodation will be also normal. Monocular accommodative facility less cycle, difficult in clearing both plus and minus length. Binocular accommodative facility, less cycle due to difficult in clearing both plus and minus lens. Diagnosis not finalized with less number of cycle rather than less number of cycle due to difficult in clearing both plus and minus lens. Like a low number of cycle in monocular and binocular facility may be due to clearing in plus lens but normal with minus lens or difficulty in minus lens but normal with plus lens. So in accommodative in facility, the number of cycle will be less but due to difficulty in clearing both plus and minus lens, not only plus, not only minus. For negative relative accommodation, negative relative accommodation will be low due to difficulty in clearing plus lens. 5. Positive relative accommodation, positive relative accommodation will also low due to difficulty in minus lens. 6. Monocular estimated method. It will be normal plus 0.25 to plus 0.75 diopter. Remember, test that required to relax or stimulation of accommodation will be reduced in accommodation in facility, like accommodative facility, relative accommodation. Isophoria at near is most common binocular vision problem associated with accommodative in facility, although exophoria and even intermittent exophoria have been reported. Now let's see management plan for accommodation in facility. non strabismic binocular anomalies management plan can be divided into following categories. Let's see what are the protocol for accommodative in facility. Refractive correction. Refractive correction should always be given in accommodative in facility. Added plus lens not recommended. Prism no prism in any accommodative anomalies. Occlusion therapy no occlusion therapy in any accommodative anomalies vision therapy vision therapy is primary treatment option for accommodative in facility surgery no surgery is indicated in any accommodative anomalies so the management plan for accommodative in facilities are one refractive correction two vision therapy now therapies for accommodation in facility though computer based exercises has higher outcome Due to their expensiveness, it is not possible to perform. Simple manual exercises are lens sorting, loose lens rock, brook string, hard chart, accommodative flipper, bug in the string, barrel card exercise. The purpose of these exercises are to improve the accommodative response. I will cover each of these exercises in a separate video.
Till then, stay with Smart Optometry and study optometry smartly.